Hello class and students, welcome again to the e-learning class of physics. Today in this video we are going to discuss the second chapter of physics that is force and pressure. Okay. And today's point of interest will be rest and motion, scalar and vector quantities, motion and its types and simple pendulum. Well, without wasting your time, let us understand what is rest. Think, we have always come across this word rest and motion. But what is it actually? Let us understand. Well, rest, we define it as any body which does not change its position with respect to the surrounding is called rest. Means, say body A is here and body B is here. Say body B is at rest or fixed. Okay. Now, with respect to this, if body A is also not moving, then we call it the body A is at rest. But say if it is moving, with respect to what? With respect to B. We call it, it is it at motion. Clear? So the definition of rest, I repeat, any body which does not change its position with respect to the surrounding is called rest. And what is then the motion? Any body which changes its position with respect to surrounding is called motion. Clear? Well, very easy. Now let us move and understand the two more very very important quantities that will be required for your entire life to understand, okay? And that is scalar and vector quantities. This is the major thing which you should have a proper understanding of it because it will be required for your upper higher classes, okay? Let us understand. Scalar and vector quantities. What is scalar quantities? Scalar quantities which have requires only magnitude. Okay, suppose I give you five kilogram. Five is the magnitude. We don't need a direction. We don't tell it's a five kilogram downward or five kilogram upward. It doesn't go like that. Isn't it? So any thing which requires only magnitude, you can explain it with the help of only magnitude. We call it that quantity has to be scalar quantity. Whereas vector quantity, it goes like that. It needs both magnitude as well as direction. Okay, like displacement velocity. Example, say if I tell that I am traveling, I am walking, say I am walking five kilometer. What does this mean? I am walking five kilometer per hour. What the, what the, uh, what does this mean? This means that speed five kilometer per hour with a speed of five kilometer per hour, I am walking. Simple. That is simple, it will come under scalar. But if I'm taking the same example, but I'm adding one more thing, that is the direction. That is, if I'm telling you that I'm walking five kilometer towards north, what does this mean? This means that you are giving the magnitude as well as the direction. And thereby, when the composition of both magnitude as well as direction is called as a vector quantity. Understood? There are examples also. So, scalar example is speed, distance. Vector example velocity displacement. Okay. Now let us move to the next topic motion and its types. Well, broadly, motion has been categorized into two categories that is uniform motion and non uniform motion. Okay. What is uniform motion? Uniform motion means a motion that is happening. Okay. When you move, say, which is happening equal distance with equal interval of time. When there is a motion with equal distance and equal interval of time, we call it uniform motion. But when you are traveling unequal distance with equal interval of time, then we call it as a non-uniform motion. Okay? Like say, first one second you have traveled 5 km, 2 second 10 km, 3 second 15 km, 4 second 20 km and so on you are traveling uniform motion. Why? Because if you divide 5 by 1 second, 5 answer. 10 by 2 seconds, 5 answer. 15 by 3 seconds, 5 answer. Whatever you will divide, you will get the same answer. Again and again, time and again. We call it a uniform motion. Okay? And non-uniform, suppose in the first second you have traveled 5 km, in the second second you have traveled 15 km, in the third second you have traveled 20 km only, and in the fourth second you have traveled 50 km. So this is uneven distance is covered. We call it such motion is called to be non-uniform motion. Simple. Now it has various kinds like let us see one by one. Translatory circular circular motion 
ऑसिलेटरी मोशन वायोमेट्री मोशन पीरियोडिक मोशन नॉन पीरियोडिक मोशन कंप्लीट मोशन एंड योर रैंडम मोशन ओके दिस आर द मेजर टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन यू कैन फाइंड ओके नेक्स्ट लेट्स मूव टू द सिंपल पेंडुलम दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डायग्राम फॉर सिंपल पेंडुलम टू अंडरस्टैंड यू शुड नो दिस डायग्राम हाउ इट वर्क्स एंड द टर्म्स विच विल बी यूजिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सिंपल पेंडुलम ओके लेट इज क्विकली गो टू द टर्म्स दैट वी यूज टू अंडरस्टैंड सिंपल पेंडुलम बेटर ओके वेल फर्स्ट टेल यू वट इज पेंडुलम What is the term? What do? How can you say this is a pendulum? Pendulum is anything that is a heavy mass is suspended on a string. Is it over a ceiling? Say a ceiling is here. You have a string and you will suspend from here. Okay, a ball like this. We call this what? The ball, the heavy mass over here. We call it. a bob b o b bob means simply a heavy mass that is suspended in a string okay and this string is fixed i mean it cannot as you have to assume that it cannot stretch it is in stretchable it is not a stretchable string clear now tell me it is only gravity is acting over here isn't it no one is holding it now what will happen if we take the string suppose if we take this mass up little bit up and we we'll leave it what will happen it will go to and fro to and fro slowly 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 it will lose its energy and it will again come to its rest position isn't it so now let us understand the terms which we use in simple pendulum like length of pendulum what is length of pendulum length of pendulum means the length from the part where you suspend the string okay till its end this is called the length of the pendulum okay now will be considered till the center of the bob this is the length of the pendulum okay what is mean position mean position means suppose you hold this pendulum you drag it up and leave it it will move to and fro to and fro to and fro mean position means the position where it always touches it goes through like this position it all it is always passing through this position isn't it this position is there this is the rest position this was the rest position and is passing through this rest position we call this position as the mean position understood now oscillation simple oscillation is very simple look what is this oscillation means one two one complete motion is called oscillation okay means what one two and fro motion one two and fro motion is called to be oscillation understood what is amplitude amplitude means the highest displacement that has been taken place in this particular arrangement what does this mean this means that the highest height it has went through like from here to here if you if you drag it it will go to here means the distance over here we call it amplitude the highest displacement that has been taken place in this arrangement is called to be amplitude clear time period what is time period time taken by the pendulum to complete one complete oscillation is called Understood. Time taken by the pendulum to complete one complete oscillation. To complete one complete oscillation is called its time period. Okay. And what is frequency? Frequency means in one second how many times it has went to and fro. Means one complete oscillation has taken place. How many times oscillation has taken place in one second? Like if this say. I have just started the watch and it went through like this: one, two, three, and it has taken one second. So three oscillations in one second. So we call it frequency as three because three oscillations has taken place in one second. Simple. And the formula is going is going like this: f is equals f is the symbol for frequency. Okay, we denote it with small letter f. f is equals to one by t. f is equals to one by time period. Time period we denote it with T, capital T. Is it? So these are the few terms which we have learned today, and it's very important. Okay, please revise these terms, understand these terms properly. Clear? So for today, let it be clear. 
Okay, and in this class we learn something new. Okay, until then, thank you. Take care. Bye bye.